Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week number 12 of the NCP, the final week, and we are here up against Chase, aka Crimson Seabad, and uh, this is a really interesting week, right? So, this battle means pretty much nothing for me. I have no chance of making it in the playoffs, I believe, but uh, I'm just here for pride and have fun with it. Um, I'm not too stressed about whatever happens here. I just kind of want to build out the rest of the season and play out the rest of the season i have a very kind of reckless strategy i believe i didn't even notice until a few minutes um into going into this match but i believe i have three choice specs on this team uh it just feels like it works even though the sylveon i don't think is the best in this situation but i feel like we're just gonna do whatever the heck we can here he has a very very scary team and a lot of mons they can take on the sylveon well but um, I think just kind of dealing damage early with either Shadow Ball or Psy Shock or some combination of that with Mystical Fire and Hyper Voice can kind of open the doors a little bit later on in the matchup for other mods of mine. But like I said, I'm kind of just here to finish out the season, try to have fun with it. And we do see the Tox effects. Of course, it's the first lot. The Jirachi, um, Diggersby, uh, Hit on Top. Alola Ninetales and the Roserade. So I'm really uh, fearing the Roserade. I think the Roserade can do the most to me. No Scrafty is really interesting to me. No Bear Tick is mildly um, interesting to me. I really wanted the Dr the Dracloak to come. Uh, no Rotom Fan is actually really huge to me. No Rotom Fan is really interesting to me. So here's the thing, right? Uh, my team also doesn't have rocks on it, which is unfortunate. But here's the thing. I kind of just want to lead off with... Dragapult feels like a solid lead to me. Dragapult feels like a solid lead to me. So does... Mm. Yeah, I think Drag... It's, it's either going to be Dragapult or Copperaja. Although, I think Copperaja's best role is going to be whenever the Toxipet comes in. So, I do think... I'm just going to go with this Dragapult and try to threaten... Nope. Mm. Okay, so we are back and I'm going to put in the same leads. Uh, It was really just unfortunate. However... I do see that there is that he did lead off with Diggersby, and the fact that I do tend to lead off with either Diggersby or Raichu, or sorry, um, Dragapult or Raichu, really leads me to think that this um, Diggersby is scarfed. And on and honestly, that was my first thought, other than the fact that I only brought two mods with me. But um, yeah, I think my play is going to be to just instantly go into. Okay, sorry, we are back, and uh, we will see the Diggersby out here, um, and. Yeah, I just think that, again, this screams Scarf to me. I really think that this was meant to kind of deal with a lead Raichu or a lead, um, or a lead, uh, Dragapult. So, I'm going to instantly go into, into Eldegoss. I think from here, I can either, I'm either going to get, like, you turned on or, or Ice Punch and it's going to hurt, or I can try to... Get off a leech seed on the switch. I really do think either a knockoff or an earthquake is going to come in. Maybe an ice punch. Ice punch is pretty, it pretty much covers bases here, so that's definitely possible. Does go for the knockoff. Now here's where it's going to be interesting to see if this thing is in fact choice. But I have no real better play other than than to click leech seed. He could. Let me see. I did not take a screenshot of the team, which I'm going to try to do right now. Um, I'm going to try not to stress too much and just try to take this a minute at a time not try not to rush things but here we go okay so let's see uh there's no oh okay nine tails is right there so that's gonna be problematic i feel like i could i could pull a double i could pull a double but i would i think leash heat is pretty much no drawback i'm gonna go for it it feels no drawback although yeah okay so I, I i think this thing is almost definitely scarfed as we will see okay that that is totally fair play totally fair play what i should have done definitely was double into the copper Raja, but now i i kind of okay I, I feel like i have a feel for how this will play out a little bit now definitely a lot of things can come in i kind of want to bring in this dragon vault here i kind of want to i mean copper Raja is super obvious here Copperaja is super obvious here. But what does he do against Copperaja? I feel like this is the play that I make regardless of what happens. But yeah, I think not seeing the Rosary there was just um, me kind of rushing this, trying to take the screenshot. Uh, clearly, Rosary was an issue, and I should have thought about that a little bit more. Um, but now, 
You can go into pretty much whatever you want. I can Iron Head pretty freely. Rock Blast is now pretty much useless. Um, he can go into the Jirachi, which honestly makes me want to click Heat Crash. Heat Crash would be a monster read here. He really doesn't have any better play, I don't think. I mean, Hip on top's a, a better play. I kind of want to go for the Heat Crash, although I also really want to go for the Iron Head. I'm going to go for the Iron Head here. Huh. Yeah, I think even if he does go into the Hitmontop, Iron Head does a lot of damage. Let's withdraw. Do we see the Hitmontop? Is the Hitmontop going to be... Yeah, okay. I think Hitmontop's going to kind of be the dedicated switch into this thing. Which I think is totally, totally fair. But, yeah, that still does a very decent amount of damage. Now, I should have clicked Zen Headbutt. Because by the looks of it, um, even Zen Headbutt would have done a whole lot of damage. That did about 40-ish percent, even at minus one. And, yeah, Zen Headbutt wouldn't have done that much more. So, that's fine. But, either way, I kind of have to go into something now. And I feel like there's really no drawback in it just going into my Eldegoss here. If I can get a Rapid Spin off, that would be pretty neat. Um, I'm not too, too worried about what the, whatever this hit on top is going to do to my Eldegoss. My Eldegoss is really physically defensive in order to kind of ensure that I'll be able to get off what I need to get off here. And then from there... From there, I mean, there are a lot of ways that this can be played. It goes for the close combat straight up. That's bananas. But yeah, Rapid Spin is going to be the obvious play. Obviously, you can go straight into the Rose Raid again. But I think the way that I'm going to play the Rose Raid, if it, if it does come in, is I think I just Rapid Spin in its face. And if he... It, I think what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to force him to want to click Sludge Bomb into me. And if he does that, then... I think the way that I play this is I click Rapid Spin on the first turn, and then I click, and then I go into Caparage on the, on the second turn, and uh, that way I can kind of mitigate whatever he's trying to do in the situation. I mean, we do get a crit, and uh, I might actually be no, I, I don't think I'm faster than this thing even with a plus one here. Although, just out of curiosity, how fast am I? Eldegoss at plus one only hits 120 so that's pretty much nothing here i'm just gonna click rabbit spin again i think there's no real reason he would have to do anything but click yeah and now i think i can kind of force him to attack me in which case now's the time for copper raja and now's the time for copper raja and now is when i can click um when i can click zen headbutt and with her generator and hopefully I can get a leech seed off later on in the match. I can kind of manage this a little bit better. But yeah, I, it comes down to me having to manage this better than I have been a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to try to figure a few things out. I'd be amazed if he clicks Toxic Spice again. I think, well, I am faster than him now. So he has to kind of manage that a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I am able to go into this. He does go for the Shadow Ball. I am uh, pretty specially defensive. And here, and I can just go for the Sheer Force Life Orb Zen Headbutt. It's going to hit a lot of the team. Uh, literally half of his team is weak to this. And uh, I'm going to do some damage to something. If he decides to bring in the Toxapex this time around, I mean, that would be pretty poggers. But I guess we'll see. Toxapex really can just potentially wall this thing? I don't know. The fact that it didn't Zen Head but the first time might make him think that I would not have it, maybe? I don't know. Oh, okay. 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 That's totally fair. Um, So he is playing me a little bit because he, he does know that I have a lot of options uh, uh, available to me, like the... Like the... Zen Headbutt, like the Heat Crash, like the Iron Head. I think this time I might... Okay, so here's the thing, right? I think he might expect me to want to switch out, and I think he might set try to set up rocks here, and if he does, then Heat Crash is... would be a dope play. I think I'm going to go for it. I think I ran some calcs on this, and like... goes for the U-turn. Okay, that's totally fair. That's totally fair. I think he might honestly think that I'm banded too, because I haven't already built an item yet, and I'm doing a lot of damage with Sheer Force Life Orb so far. So... I'm curious to know what he would want to expect here. Goes into the hit on top. That's totally fair. 
Totally, totally fair. And I think this time... Oh, he crashes doing a decent amount of damage. So now I, I reveal the life orb. And now I can for sure... Actually, mmm. This is tempting. Although he can just sucker punch me the next turn. Could it be... Hmm. I have so many thoughts that I'm go that are just going through my head. Um... Okay. I think I could also go into... No. No, I'm, no, I'm going to take the, the slightly safer approach. Obviously, close combat is going to do a lot of damage. I think I have to pull a double here. I think I can't really um, let him get Toxic Spikes up, so I have to play this carefully. But I would be amazed. Well, you, can't, you really can just click close combat twice. You really can just click close combat twice. So how do I manage that? I really don't want to let the Roserade in. I really don't want to let the Roserade in. But I'm going to go down anyway, so I don't think that matters a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Because even, even if the Roserade does come in, then I go down a Poison, and it doesn't and it never matters anyway. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. So now, I mean... Honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd be really tempted to go into the Malamar right now, but the Roserade is still a huge issue. Is it, though? Can I deal with the Roserade? I don't think so. Not yet. Uh, if the Roserade goes down, then I don't think he has really good answers to my... To my... I don't think he has really good answers to my... Malamar. So that's interesting just to keep in the back of my head. But... Shadow Ball might have been a better play, but he... Obviously, it's not going to be great if he can just... Um... Play around that. Just, just go for the Psy Shock. Uh, not yet. I, I'm not too concerned yet. Even though that does zero damage. I think this thing is like max physical defense. I think this thing is really physically defensive. And honestly, it makes me want to just do it again. But I don't think I can here. I think he clicks U-turn. I really can't see anything but U-turn right now. I think he tries to take this as an opportunity. He goes for the South Rocks. Okay, that's pretty problematic. That's pretty problematic. But I don't... I, don't, I actually don't think it's as problematic as it might seem. I don't have anything that's weak to it, I don't think. And um, there are a lot of mods on my team that can kind of... They just kind of don't mind it as much, right? I think, again, if if, if the Malamar gets going, then it's going to mitigate a lot of what's going on here. Um, I think here... Is an opportunity. He could just go into Diggersby. That'd be problematic. Let's go for the Iron Head. Um, I could surf, expecting something. I could, I could Volt Switch, expecting him to, to expect me to surf. I think. I think I pulled double, and I think I'm gonna really run out of time before long. But I think what I do. As I go back into my Sylveon. Even though I have to do a little bit of figuring out how to play this. I think he clicks U-turn though. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, actually that's interesting because if I did click Volt Switch, he was giving me free damage onto the Jirachi. But it, yeah, okay. That's interesting. The fact that he didn't just hard switch is interesting. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's go out into the Roserade. And he pretty much... Yeah, he can get Toxic Spikes up, which is pretty darn problematic for me. But... Yeah, I think I just... I think I have to... 
I think I have to at least at the very least punish him if he does go for the toxic spikes. And I think I have to open up the door for my Malamar, ultimately. Because this really does open the door up for my Malamar. Yeah, okay. Okay. At the very at the very minimum, this thing was punished for getting toxic spikes. If the Malamar hits the field, it's gonna it's gonna lum away the toxic spikes. And he really doesn't have a whole heck of a lot that can kind of manage my 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 um my Malamar. Nine Tails is the biggest issue, but we can manage it at the very least. I could definitely see a U-turn now, but I've been calling these U-turns pretty badly in the past anyway. I don't think it really particularly matters. I think just going into this is going to be ideal if he does go for the U-turn. I, I believe... Okay, so, so the last Iron Head was a crit, so we might take another one after Rocks, but it's pretty dubious. I think I think ultimately the simpler play would be to just click U-turn. Um... Especially if I get poisoned, and especially if this if the Scarf Digger's B has um has a uh, quick attack, but it, it it's moot anyway. It, it doesn't matter anyway. I think. Okay, so it's shown quick um U-turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. What I want to. Hmm. This is tempting. This is tempting. I feel like it would have to have like drain punch for my for my copperage though. Huh. Yeah, okay. We can test that out. But this but if this thing is as defensive as I think, then I don't know how much it like truly matters. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Because one thing that I probably gonna bring in the toxic packs, right? One, mm, it's interesting. I don't know what he would want to bring in. Toxic packs would obviously resist. Hit on top would just be sacking, and nine tails would be a, kind of a yikes. I mean, like I probably wouldn't Oko, but I would do a lot to it, right? Yeah. So this is a sack more or less, which is fine-ish. It's fine-ish. Um, Comparage is really important to deal big damage to the Toxapex, so that's going to be imp important to remember. And I think the most sackable Mon that I have left here is my Sylveon, and I think the way that I can kind of try to play this is to have... is to have... Sylveon... I think I can start to deal a little bit of damage with Sylveon, but the bigger kind of picture here is that I can try to I can try to Iki's probably to a KO especially after rocks and poison you know for sure for sure so I think the bigger kind of picture here is that now my Malamar can come in and Malamar gets a very free superpower off yeah Malamar Malamar is kind of difficult to deal with now actually for him a little bit. We'll see. Obviously, Nine Tails is a big, big issue. But uh, no, that's regular Nine Tails. Want to look at a Lola Nine Tails? I mean, there's really not much in terms of picking what button I want to click. I'm gonna get to. A decent amount of defense soon. It's just going to be a matter of can can this thing get certain things out of the way enough that it can open the door up for my drag pole to win? Because I think that's ultimately how I make it, how my, I make my way out of this. So I can just hit it with the superpower. Uh, that does a respectable amount. Malamar against Jirachi. I really just think this thing is super defensive. So, did what about like thirty-five-ish percent? I don't know. Is that in line with no bulk? Is this a no bulk Jirachi? I feel like that's not possible. I could get U-turned, but I don't think it matters, right? If if I get U-turned, I just click superpower regardless, right? If I get U-turned, I just click superpower regardless. 
because nothing either brings in the either brings in yeah yeah I just click super power and if he tries to iron head flinch me then I can kind of sort of deal with that he turns gonna do a lot of damage yeah but whatever comes in I I'm, I'm fine with dealing damage to it right because nine tails really doesn't have the best uh, physical defense and I am at plus one I am adamant um I'm not doing nearly enough but what I think this does primarily right is it yeah I really needed that to do just a little bit more um but I think it forces him to, to want to click a moon blast right I think it forced him to want to click moon blast and I don't think I have answers to the diggers me anymore um what I can do is I can definitely now yeah we'll, we'll go for the freeze dry so potentially no moon blast here but I'll be able to take this thing out with dragapult and I guess at that point I guess at that point I can yeah I've taken too much damage to be able to ever be able to deal with the diggers be at this point yeah I think I have to click scald I think I have to click scald so here's the thing right Skull Dragapult it's not impossible to to bring it home it's just really difficult so, if the Toxpec comes in, then obviously I have to bring in the Kaparaja. If the Diggersby comes in, then I just lose, yeah. Yeah, I don't have answers to this thing anymore. Um, maybe I take one, and maybe I can I can make something happen, but it's just so unlikely at this point. Um, this was a really difficult build for me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think, honestly, the weakest link was the 6th Mon, right? So, I think... I think it was difficult to try to decide whether or not to want to bring the Sylveon. We don't pick up the KO. Uh, or, 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 sorry, he does pick up the KO. So, yeah, that, uh, that, that's going to be pretty much it for this match and for the season. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I could have built this differently, really, to try to accommodate for everything that he wanted to do. I think, mm, I think potentially the Raichu was not the best bring here. I think potentially... Uh, but I don't know what I could have done differently, right? I mean, I mean, maybe the Arcanine. I mean, there's a very real argument in favor of, the, uh, of, of bringing the Arcanine that I could definitely see here. But, yeah, this is ultimately going to bring... This is ultimately going to be a very difficult build regardless of, what, of whatever happened. Um, and, honestly, the Arcanine just made me more more susceptible to the Toxapex as well as the... As well as the... As well as the... Um... Diggersby. So, it was never going to be easy. Uh, he has a really, really strong team. He made a fantastic comeback from really uh, way down there, but that's going to be for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said, that'll be it for my season. We will be back really, really soon with more weeks of the TBL. This is going to be the end of the NCP. Um, there will be more stuff coming really, really soon, but, but once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.